they still wanted to benefit economically from the arrangements that they had enjoyed for 100 years. And that is that their domestic economy is dependent on cheap raw materials from Latin America, Africa, and Asia, because those raw materials don't even exist in their country. Uh, they don't have forests anymore. They had coal, which helped them through the Industrial Revolution. But you know, do they have uh, uh, cobalt? Do they have aluminum? Do they have you know, any of the basics for 20th and 21st century economies? No, they don't. So they have to import it, but they don't want to pay the full market rate for it. You know, that's bad for business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they want to keep it as cheap as possible. And the best way to do that is to control the source. And uh, at the same time, if you can acquire a source of raw materials, you generally can also exploit cheaper labor costs there. So you can pay one tenth or you know one twentieth of what you would pay uh, domestically. And then you also acquire a market for your finished goods. And this is you know this mercantilism has not changed because it's about self-interest. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, no country has any real vision or ideology. It has self-interest. Mm -hmm. And self-interest is what motivates uh, actors in international relations. So it's in self-interest of rich countries to remain wealthy. They don't like change. The current system worked very well for them. You know, if they're wealthy today, if they're stable today, it's because the world works in a way that was designed by them. Uh, they would never give that up you know, without a fight. Mm -hmm.